there are two types of day jobs that you're going to pursue. One that is pretty low paying, entry level, allows flexibility, and you don't feel so bad giving up when you eventually have to quit it. And then the other one is more of a career path that you're going to do along with acting, something more long term that's going to fulfill your need and want for consistency, benefits like insurance and retirement. And unfortunately, both jobs are eventually going to feel like they're sucking up too much time and energy from you and they're going to make you want to quit acting. That's where you need to figure it out and be able to make some adjustments. Which job should you choose or which job should you even start with? Look at what you are good at and look at the things that you like to do as well as the places that you like to go, the places that you like to go visit or shopping. I personally love Trader Joe's. The people there are always so nice to me. Like the customer service is amazing. Every time you ask them something, they're really nice. They're wearing fun shirts. Like people there are always in a good mood. So if I was to apply to a grocery store for example I would definitely choose Trader Joe's I love shopping at Target because they have a little bit of everything and it's just it's just nice to be in there and look at the TV shows that you like and start looking at the roles that you would like to play and look at the patterns barista with the coffee shop okay the office 13 reasons why friends like these shows are huge and they have a lot of coffee shop things in it. They want the background to look legit. They don't want people to be like, wait, why are they trying to steam milk there? That's not even where the steamer is. There's tons of shows that also have people working in offices, people babysitting, people working in retail. Like there's just so many day jobs that you can actually experience. And you can experience a lot of these without having to get hired and then be like, okay, I'm quitting. There are seasonal jobs, Halloween, Christmas, in the summer, 4th of July selling, um, fireworks. There's a lot of jobs that want to hire you just for a few months and it'll help you keep really good relationships with people and learn how to develop those relationships because in the film industry you can work for somebody one day and then they'll call you three years later and be like hey I have this other job you don't even have to audition I know you're perfect for it like come work. Here's a list of jobs that you might have heard of before but I want to reiterate these jobs and tell you that all of these could be flexible and could be seasonal especially if if you ask in the beginning if they are those things. A barista, a bartender, a server, seasonal retail like Spirit Halloween store, Christmas stores, substitute teacher, sales and like leasing apartments or selling homes, real estate, entry level office jobs, pretty much any company, you can Google it, they're going to have an entry level office person. For movie theaters or stage theaters, you can work in the box office, a babysitter, lifeguard, an ambassador at different conventions, an events model or actor. It is so important to have these jobs because the amount of times that I see a casting call that says, looking for a real barista, a real nurse, there are casting calls where they will not even let you audition unless you actually have real life experience. Once you have explored these jobs and you are craving a little bit more of a career path and something where you can make a lot more money, something that will be able to complement your acting, get insurance, other benefits, you want to explore the things that you have learned and what you've been good at, what you've been able to really enjoy and find something that is going to be able to also be flexible with your acting and let me tell you this is definitely going to be a search and it's going to be something that takes a while the biggest thing is not to give up and not say like okay no I just have to go with this career instead of acting you just have to be flexible and be willing to just keep going and find that job that's going to be able to allow you to do acting and also give you consistency in work and income and insurance and benefits it will happen let me give you an example and I'm not gonna tell you specifically the company because I'm just like maybe might still work with them. I was really craving consistency and really, really craving some money and insurance. So I decided to go and apply for this office job because I've been there before and they remembered my name. They were all really sweet and I thought, how cool would it be to work with these people? They're so nice. I applied and I worked full time for them for a couple of years. I got insurance, like it was great. I got good money and I really enjoyed the job, but then I thought, okay, this is really taking up too much of my time and I want to focus on acting more. I decided to tell my boss that I wanted to go part time, but I wanted to have a position that would be very flexible. So even if I was part time, 
time if on a random Tuesday I needed to call off, it needed to be okay. So basically I needed to be an additional person, an additional person for like a functioning office already. And they said yes, because they already knew my work ethic. I had already proven myself to them. They wanted to keep me because they liked working with me. I did have to compromise and um, take away some of the benefits, but I still had a job. This job night might not be here forever, but I am for sure a hustler. Like if I see that I'm not gonna have money for my car bill or rent or whatever, and I'm just like, okay, well, what opportunity can I go do? What job can I go do? I know that not everybody is as privileged and to be in being able to have all of this flexibility and being able to say, okay, well, I'll just get another job because the reality is not everybody can do that. But if you are willing to put in the work, you can be an actor and have a day job. It's, it's really hard. I don't know what else to tell you and I think you should pursue it if it's something that you really love and the reality is that you are going to have to have a day job aside from acting and it's okay. Speaking of acting, I made a video right here on um, how to find auditions. So if you want to find more auditions, go over here. There's tons of websites and you just basically have to do the same thing that you do with your jobs with casting websites. See which one works for you. And at the end, I also feature another channel. This is today's featured channel.